And we're back. So, Lord Addis just saved us from the swamp creature. And we are in front of Malisha's uh, tower. What a lovely crystal lamp in the midst of such a horrid room. Hmm. Do we need to go this way? I think not. I think that means she's home. But I don't want to click on either of those. So maybe we ought to just skedaddle. Hello! Well, uh, uh, hello. What's a nice lady like you doing in a swamp like this? I'm looking for my daughter. She's missing. What sort of creature are you? We're just a harmless little plant, honey bunch. Yep. Harmless. Well, you know what? Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I'm not interested in this shop of horrors. Let's get on out of here. Hey! That wasn't very nice. Little shits. Ugh. Yeah, we gotta deal with them again. Maybe we can go talk to Mort. Wait, what does she say about the mailbox? Dr. Mort Cadaver. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Mort was our friend. Maybe he'll be our friend again. Yes? Oh my! You bear a stunning resemblance to a young lady I met earlier this evening. That must have been my daughter, Rosella. My dear lady, do come in. So you are the mother of the charming Miss Rosella. Pleased to meet you, lady. Valenice of Daventry, sir. What a lovely name! I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. What can I do for you, Lady Valenice? Can you tell me anything about uh, Rosella? When was the last time you saw my daughter? <gasps> Where was she going? I saw her but a few short hours ago. She asked me about the Troll King and very kindly brought me a new backbone. I do not know where she was headed. I show him my comb? No. Dr. Cadaver, how was Rosella when you spoke with her? Did she seem well? Oh, abundantly so. She was the liveliest creature I've seen in years. Well, that's good. Dr. Cadaver, I hope this isn't rude of me, but is everyone in Ooga Booga, well, dead? As a doornail, for the most part. Right. I can, I can just keep talking to him. Forgive me, Lady Valenice, but I have to make a house call. Good evening, Valenice. I will let you know if I hear word of Rosella. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Some weird little animation clipping there. Well, that seemed a little suspicious. Making a house call back soon.
Hmm. <laughs> You're the crying lady. <laughs> My lady, are you Valenice of Daventry? Why, yes. How did you know? Listen carefully. Your daughter has left this land. She is in dire trouble in the bowels of the great volcano. But that's not the worst of it. The volcano will soon erupt, and then all will be lost, including your daughter. Oh no. What? We cannot just stand by and do nothing. Seek help from the Kingdom of Etheria, Valenice. They have the power to break the enchantment. You must! Where is this Etheria? How can I get there? Etheria floats in the clouds far above us, lady. Once our Lord Count Sepish could have taken you there, but he's unfortunately lost his head. Find a way to help him, and he will certainly help you. Okay, so we gotta help Lord Zeppish. And we gotta get off the screen because I think the boogeyman's there. <laughs> Don't mind me, lady. Oh! Dog, uh, nice dog. Okay. <clears throat> Don't think we're gonna go that way. <laughs> hmm. Guess we can go back this way. Is down. Let's uh let's make a bookmark. No, we don't have to, but let's see what we see this time. <laughs> I like that she didn't scream about it. I'm assuming that would kill us again, but, I mean, you never know. <coughs> yep. I, I knew there was a reason I always hated those things as a child. Okay. He wasn't holding this last time. Ah, and it's sparkling. Hey, give it here. <laughs> A femur bone. Uh-oh. I ain't waiting around with those kids. Get out of here. All right, maybe we could chuck the bone to the dog. Dogs like bones. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can. Good dog. Nice dog. Come on, boy. There we go. Oh. There now. You're not such a bad dog after all. And you are not such a bad human. Oh. <laughs> not the voice I expected. You are the first creature to be kind to me since I lost my master and mistress. Thank you. You poor fellow. What happened to your people? My master was beheaded by Malisha's foul gargoyle and cursed to ride the skies in search of his head. My mistress died of grief shortly thereafter. And I? I tried to defend my home when the boogeyman came to burn it. I failed. Oh, sometimes, sometimes a boogie just needs a smack. Your master was Count Zeppish? He was. I was proud to fight at his side. I would like to help your master. If I recovered his head, do you think the curse would be lifted? We can only hope. Here, take my master's medal. It may help you in the search. And thank you, brave lady. Sweet. No. Oh. Horseman's Medal. The name's Dog. James Dog. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Actually, can we click on him and learn his name? <laughs> Didn't even think to. What was your mistress like, noble hound? She was the loveliest woman in Eldritch, and she loved my master, the Count, beyond all things. Now her shade is all bitterness and rage. You would do well to avoid her. Tell me, noble hound, why did Malicia slay your master? It was so long ago. Malicia was leading an uprising against Ethelia and the rightful crown. My brave master led the charge against her. Malicia was defeated and banished from Etheria, but not before she killed Count Seppish. Now she is back, and I fear the worst for all of Eldritch. Hmm. I guess that's all I can do with him. We've got to put a stop to this, Malicia. She is bad news. <laughs> Oh, you're standing up now. Can I talk to you? My lady, are you ill? I am dead! Oh. My goodness, could she ever use a facial? She's got looks to kill. At least we got to see more with uh, Valenice than we did with Rosella. Can I hand you the medal? Can I hand you the medal? Nope. But I can hand you the medal. Here you are. Now we can look at this door. Count Vladimir Tsepish, fearless warrior, devoted husband, and Lord Protector of Uga Booga Land. Count Vladimir Count v There we go. It's locked. How dare. 
Hmm. It's locked. Hmm. What do we do about that? Oh, we haven't, uh, we haven't gone up and seen the... the Gravedigger. I don't think he could help us with a lot. Oh. Leave that cat alone. Oh, hey. I don't know if this is a good idea. It's gonna blow us up or something. Oh, nope. Lit firecracker. Blammo cracker. So we're just we're just not gonna put it out. Alright, we're just walking around with a lit firecracker. Maybe we could like jam this in the lock or something. That seems like the kind of logic this game would use. <clears throat> that and also I suspect if we just keep walking around this will blow up. Or it or it won't. Or it's suspended and you know, our, our inventory is like a warp in space and time. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Huzzah! Uh, Oh, it's okay. He doesn't he doesn't mind the fact we're robbing his tomb. Okay. Oh, dang Valen, he's oh got some muscles. My. Poor Count Zepish. Well, he's got some muscles. Horseman's head. Hmm. Looks like they missed a single, a single angle here. It cuts really hard. Yeah, because this has got a nice little short. Huh, maybe it's just a perception thing, I don't know. Well, we've got the horseman's head. Can we give it to the horseman? Oh. Yep. Eerily quiet. Oh. <laughs> you have lifted the curse that was placed on me, my lady. I am deeply indebted to you. Black Valiant. Oh, Elspeth, my Elspeth, how I have missed you, my love. Yay! And I you, my dearest darling. You oh. have done me an immeasurable kindness. Tell me what I can do for you in return. I must find a way to Etheria, Count Seppish. It is imperative. I have heard that you may be able to help me. Consider it done. I will give you the use of my horse. Here, take this fife. With it, you can call him to take you to Etheria. Once there, you cannot summon him, for he will not be able to hear you. But he will always come to you anywhere on the surface lands. Thank you, Count. 
It is nothing. Fly, Necromancer. Carry the lady to Etheria. Away! Now this is what I call a change of scenery. Let's uh, let's make a save. Now you know that was true love when Elsbeth just straight up made out with a rotting corpse. <laughs> um, which way do we go? If we walk this way, maybe. I'm here to click on. Mm. Mm. Okay, there's so lots of pretty flowers to smell. That was a pathway. Oh, this is so cool. And this we saw this in the uh in the intro cinematic. You can play music notes on it. Valanice, you're, you're covering it up. Valanice. Not sure what the point of this is right now, though. Oh, hmm. Well, that must be a puzzle for for later. Are there are other pathways here. Oh, there are other pathways here. This is so cool. I 
What in heaven's name was that? I've never seen a creature so swift. Well, at least it didn't kill us. I'm I'm genuinely shocked that that did not kill us. What is this? Okay, we can't reach it. We can climb on this. Looks like. <clears throat> Scoot on over. Ambrosia. Oh. Well, that's one way to get down. What's in this cave? Oh. No! No! Get away! What a hideous beast! I could use some advice on how to avoid that thing. Let's not do that. We do have the ambrosia? Yeah, we do. Okay. This is probably all we need up here right now. <laughs> How quick our little sprite comes along the path. <laughs> Cute little fairies. Oh my, aren't you the sweetest little things? Can I chase them? I'm supposed to do something with them. Do you want the ambrosia? Oh, you do. It's repeating that an awful lot. That's got to be important. Oh, the musical instrument. See if we can solve this. Um. Hey! Well, something happened, but we're right at 30 minutes, and I think this is going to be a great place to end it. So, I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>